Hey all, back again to continue to work on this little Mark MX-1. It's kind of taking a look at it and I was uh, trying to think of the things that I might like about it or dislike about it. Um, of course, I'm not a big fan of slower ships, but uh, this, is, this is going to be a cheap ship. So definitely want that. Also, on the last session, too, I, uh, I spawned in the MX-2 as a more of a size comparison scale to the newer ship. And uh, this one falls into place uh, below it. Um, and I was looking at this MX-2, and you probably hear me complaining about lines and connection things like this. Um, all these wacky things all over the place. Uh, um, so... My OCD kicked in and I couldn't handle it, so I uh, went through and reskinned the MX2 and changed a few blocks around, and this is the uh, new result. Um, basically, I changed it to my more updated color scheme and smoothed out uh, a few blocks, added in some of these spans blocks. A long story on that one. Actually, not really. Um, a while back, I, I made a ship and I had a a corner where there was like this the same curve going here going into a curve and then you'd see like the seam and then uh, I got the sent the screenshot of hey why don't you try to use this block instead of that one that doesn't line up with the curve and it's a smooth curve and uh, yeah ever since then I've used the crap out of this block because it just makes a, a smoother transition so going from this which, you know, I was happy with at the time, um, but I, my standards changed. Um, and then going into this, it just, it's cleaner and it's smoother. And also I had this uh, front, uh, you know, I, I, was, I was saying about, hey, you know, a ship should be aerodynamic, you know, it's flying in the atmosphere. Um, well, this is about as least aerodynamic as you could possibly make up front here. So I kind of changed that around a little bit. But I, I left the, the ship intact for the most part. But uh, uh, just just a little bit of differences. So this one I'm going to uh, probably end up uh, finishing up. Um, maybe I get it to Alpha 9 interior uh, storage and whatnot. And I'll just update the MX2 blueprint on the workshop. I don't want to release a, a different version. I'm thinking, hoping that... Anybody that would have wanted this ship might like this one better in the end because it'll be updated and it's a little cleaner. Um, well anyway, back to this particular ship. I um, want to get this thing finished up. Now, one thing that stuck out to me when I was looking at it um, is I've got this, uh, this line here and then this curved window here. And I was thinking, well, I think... I want to try something to see how it looks. So I'm going to do that right now. Let's get a symmetry plane on though. And basically this is a quick modification. I simply want to take out those blocks, take out this piece of glass, and then match the angle here with blocks. and go into this curve here. And I think I do like that. It kind of smooths that uh, chunky feeling out right there. So, well, basically this ship worked. It had, I believe, all its components in it, um, as far as I know. Oh, yeah, I got grass, off, grass on the floor. Um, but it needs to be finished off. Um, and let's see, okay, so it did have oxygen. Constructor, we've got, I believe that's ammo storage, cargo storage, O2, armor locker, uh, a couple extra storage chests. What I'm not seeing in here is Wi Fi and a, no, it does have a fridge, okay. So I think Wi Fi, and that is about all that needs to get placed in the interior. I think I'm going to finalize the exterior first, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power this thing up and get it so I can uh, get to the bottom of it easy enough. So, 
Yeah, not too bad. The, my only other problem, and I don't think it's fixable, is the fact that these doors bleed through the corners here. Um, I could attempt to do something about that. God, I really hate that though. It just, it bugs me. I was doing the same thing on the bottom corners here too. Um, hold on, I'm gonna just try to see if there's anything I can do about that, but I'd have to alter some lines, some body lines here, I think. So it shouldn't take long. So I'm gonna try that a minute, see what happens. You know, yeah, a couple of those. And then that line doesn't line up with this line, so this has to go too. top line right you know what though now then we'd have a seam well that would give the thickness I think to fix that problem Ah, Jesus, still doesn't. It's a little better, but man. I just don't want to make this any bigger. All right, well, that stays. I don't mind the extra little uh, area on the back here, though. There could be a couple things that are done with this. But for now, let's get this thing textured up. So I'm going to go through and clean up this. And actually, on these particular wedge corners, I, th I think I showed this again. That particular thing I kind of like to use. Gives you a nice smooth little ridge line there, and it's guaranteed, and it won't change. And let's see. Let's put something back here. These inside blocks actually, since they're solid, they don't actually have to be there like they are right now. But we need blocks there. I'm just trying to think of something else that could go in its place that might look kind of neat. Uh, maybe a little inset here. I guess that works. And I put those uh, wedge blocks on there so I could get a couple lights in the back. Same, same with up there. Um, another trick I learned with these doors here is uh, I'm going to do something a little different. Rather than these two blocks, I'm going to put in a, uh, a more squarish block. You might think, well, hey, that's that's weird. But what's cool about this is that then I can go through and add a couple lights there. And when the ramp's down, it covers the lights up. So once the ramp goes up, it's like, hey, there are marker lights. Here's the door, if you couldn't see it. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see, a couple of beds. Maybe get those in there. 
And let's go standard. So yeah, I like to touch every surface, try to give it something. And you get this a lot too with uh, symmetry where, you know, you texture one side and this one's like it's the wrong direction. If you try to fix it, then it reverses this side. Just one of those things. So you have to finalize it with symmetry off, basically. Already looking a little bit cleaner there. All right, so this area here. A couple of those and maybe another line. And then we'll just uh Try to do a balance between adding in like uh, textures uh, that you know stick out more, and then smooth textures in between them. So that's kind of the uh, the, the theme I try to do now, at least. So weird, I already thought I did this to this side. What really sucks sometimes is you get like nothing that lines up on a whole strip to get a, like even one seam in it. All right, so let's see up here. Pull out those landing gears so I can get under it. strip here something On this one, I don't want to do that. Let's try 
making like a trim. Yeah, it's getting smoother and smoother. Once in a while you get lucky, like I used that other texture and I got something that I could use. So, kind of in the mix. Other times it's all jagged lines all over the place. Okay. I'm going to turn off symmetry real quick and just kind of touch up this side. So let's see this top row here. Kind of want to get some kind of lights in here. So that's pretty much skinned now. Uh, next part is paint. So what I'm going to do is uh, steal some paint from another one of my, or colors I should say, from another uh, vehicle. Um, just to show you this, this is something uh, brand new that I've been working on. Um, this is for Excalibur's Challenge. I'm calling it a Sphinx SAV for Surface Assault Vessel. Um, very specialized uh, CV, kind of looks a bit like a tank. I kind of, I so wish I could put on hover thrusters on a CV and get rid of the landing gear, and I think that would be really cool. Uh, point of this particular uh, CV is to uh, land on the planet, park in front of a POI, have all these front guns, which everything, everything here. There's, so there's 12. Uh, or six mini guns, six cannons, which all can fire on this planet's surface, plus a barrage of sensory guns. So there's a couple up over here and a couple more up on the side of these front 
leg areas that all just pound on the uh, POI and then you can come in inside this uh, and roll out with a HV or a SV on the on the roof or whatnot and get up there and uh, tackle them. And I tried something different with the ceiling here too. It's kind of two layers thick, but the bottom layer I kind of made this almost like a rib cage up there just to see how that would work out. Um, but yeah, for for a CV, this is uh, it has everything in it though. I know it's uh, more specialized for that particular type of thing, but and it's got cooking and it's got a small farm. A um, couple little constructors back there. You got a full barrage of medical um, gear plus your uh, station. A couple extra storage boxes here. Uh, 180K storage there. Another 320 up front. Um, repair station, armor locker, constructor. Um, crafting power switches, ammo bay, 100K of ammo. Um, this thing can hold a lot. Um, and then a re repair and everything else. So basically this thing is kind of like a loft hangar. It's, uh, it does everything in this area. And then, you know, hopping up to the bridge here, I uh, went with a more of a gigacore type of display screen telling you what options are on at the time that are pertinent. And then you have these switches I also went through and kind of redesigned my signs again. I felt it was time for a change or an update. So this is my new layout. I'll probably use for a few ships until I come up with something different. But uh, so Siege Weapons basically turns on all the front cannons, but, but keeps on uh, 360 degree defense uh, with four cannon turrets, even if this is off. So you're not defenseless. And then space turrets, um, this is something I never really thought about before, where a lot of these turrets don't work on the surface of the planet, and they suck a little bit of power when they're on. So this gives you the option now to turn this off. And then, of course, all these switches are linked to the uh, display screens up there. Not that it's a big deal, it's just kind of a fancy little thing. And then, yeah, over here, uh, thrusters, RCS, and exterior lights. Now, this ship has a lot more exterior lights. I actually did 360-degree lights on this one um, with spotlights rather than just the front. I've fluctuated from build to build on that. And then, of course, you got to have, you know, a shower and a bathroom. And I, I had, like, no space for any of this stuff. And I, I had this, like, little sliver over here of, like, three blocks that, so I kind of, chop some blocks or, or change the blocks on the on the ceiling and add a little curve and got that in the, that side and then over on the other side hey you got a bunk bed and you know a couple little things here to live so um, although it's really not taking up any space really or usable space I've managed to squeeze everything in this in this ship so anyway I'm here to steal its colors um, so this is using my standard colors which basically these these first three are unchanged but this row down here is so I keep on feeling there's got to be a better way to do this than what I'm doing um, uh oh there we go so we'll paste that one in and actually you know this this new MX2 also has the new colors Copy that one. It's almost like you got to be a little bit further away. There you go. And just to be consistent. Copy. Copy that. You know, something I didn't get to the MX2 is the, the light colors. Copy you. And let me get one more color real quick. That 
should do it for now. Okay, so start with, I'm just going to start figuring out where we want white and dark, or light and dark. I'm thinking I'll go with a similar color scheme to what I got over here. So this base row, and we're just going to fill the whole block in. Let's get symmetry going again. Let's see here. How about dark on this part? And then over here, how about a medium? So wings. Um, okay, so we did that. Oh, you know, I still got to fix that too. Son of a gun, I forgot about that. Um, yeah, probably ought to address that before moving forward. Okay, so that can't be that way. And we're going to need to extend this out. I could almost work. Let's try something here. You know what? I'll get rid of that too and round that off better. Yeah, so then you kind of got a like a body line there that kind of flows. That works. All right. And let's return to white for the outer area on the Ooh. Don't know how that happened. Odd. All right. So this bottom row. 
probably ought to be uh, white too, I'm thinking. Here. Yeah. I'm trying to do and I'm thinking I almost want to leave the, the bottom side uh, kind of gray like it is. I'm not so sure about this wing part here though. Let me try. Uh, yeah, okay. I think that's a little bit better. Could change this around so this is dark here. Basically, I'm looking at different shapes. I'm trying to separate like uh, this shape from this shape and kind of make it look like there's uh, more components or different parts here. Yeah, I kind of actually like the darker uh, wing tips like that. So much trial and error. Um, but then we'll follow it up with light on the inside, maybe. Hmm. I don't know. I think that about does it. Let's get the lights painted. Now the debate, should the top be white or dark like that? How or alternative white? A little bit of a tone difference there. Uh, you know what? Just temporarily here. better. How about a white door and darker that, darker that. All right. Well, how about the next part here? Let's see what we can do with some decals. Um, Got to have the dots. No, you don't really have to. It's just some strange thing I figured started doing and sort of liked it, I guess. Where would be some good places for dots? Uh, ship doesn't make it easy.
Okay, and then naming. Um, I usually on on just about every Merc ship, I usually just put its model number on the side. This is kind of a standard thing. Got to keep with tradition. So, next little part here, um, maybe I'll, I'll see more places to put decals at some point. I don't want to put too much on here. Oh, that's white over here. One sec. Okay. All right, so then there's these things. Um, these are pretty cool. Now, this is a really tiny ship, and there, I already know there's not much places to put stuff, but it doesn't mean you can't try, because it will add some detail if, if successful. I love this thing, this intake. Um, but where could you put an intake on a ship this size? You know, perfect place would be on these wings, but I got those actually covering up critical parts. And that one, that one worked back there. Man, you know, the only place I can really think of is like top dead center up here. You know, it's a small ship. That might work, or maybe maybe push this back. Hmm. That could probably do the job. Okay, so that and um, yeah. I don't think I'm gonna do too much with this on this ship. It's just very small. That gives me an idea of something, though. Just looking at where these thrusters come out, and I'm curious if I were to... Oh, geez, how would I even do that? I was thinking that if something extended out over here, so I could get, like, a, another light in a row, but uh, the, the problem being, I think, is... I don't know if I got, I can't think of any good way to make this nice and smooth here. I don't want the, the, the choppiness. Nah. One quick stripe idea. I have to lose that vent. Maybe I could get a decal over here, too. Yeah, something subtle. Probably have to fix this texture.
Okay. Could always darken where the letters are too. Over that whole strip. Yeah, I kind of like that. Starting to take shape. Oh, you know, I never. Hey. Anything more on the bottom? Oh, yeah, that white block there probably should be dark. And actually, this should be one of these two. How about this one? Should be a light. Okay, I'm going to go land this somewhere. Oh. Uh. oh boy, I got a major problem with this ship. Yeah, I screwed up on something. Oh, it doesn't have landing gear too, jeez. One sec, one sec, one sec. I removed some landing gear. Oh, that's not what I'm looking for. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, the, uh, big screw up, it has no, uh, reverse thrust. <laughs> so, whoops. Um, that, however, might not be that bad of a thing. I think there's a nice, ample. It didn't like that. sure what I blew out, but uh, we'll fix it. All right. So I have a feeling I, when I, what did I blow away in here? Something important. Was it the core, was it? Or maybe it was the core. Or a fuel tank. I thought it had more than one fuel tank. No, nope, can't put in a core. Oh, core's right there, okay. So it must have been, must have been fuel. Hmm. Where to squeeze a fuel tank? Let's see what these are down here. Steel, steel, steel. God, these steel blocks are so weak. I'm just looking at this, and it's like 38 hit points. Wow. All right. Oh, I see they're also half blocks. Wait a minute. Oh, that's all two. Detector. Actually, 
I hate screwing up like this. <laughs> How did I miss the uh, front thrusters? Didn't even realize it when I flew it around before either. Never try to go backwards, I guess. <sighs> no, that's off again, too. It also scares me, though, that this thing only had one fuel tank. Let's see if that fixed it. No, it no, it wasn't fuel. It was not fuel. So it's got a core, it's got, oh, it's a generator, duh. Yep, yep, I should drink more coffee before doing these, you know, wake up a little bit. Uh, <laughs> hey, it's alive. Now I'm thinking maybe I'll leave the extra fuel tank to... But now I gotta cover that up and that sucks. Right there. I want a nice way to do this, but maybe I will do that idea that I was thinking of running something out to the thrusters. But the only block that I think will line up to what's the curve that's there is this one. And that looks I don't know not really what I was trying to accomplish I could do that but ugh. just not liking that Anyway, I could push everything forward up here. Now, it's back to back. There's a thruster, I think. Yeah, right in front of it. And then, hmm. That has just got to be sealed or left exposed. Don't like either way. Could try this. When building stuff, I mean, I'm sure you, you guys, say, you know, if if you're watching this, you you build stuff yourself, or you know, always trying to improve. There is just so much. It's problem solving. I mean, so many times you're like, you, you come into a situation, it's like, how am I going to pull that off? And then it's just like, messing with blocks, trying to come up with something that that'll work, like this. I think this is acceptable. Um, I preferred it the other way, but this, that, that doesn't look as bad. You know what? And then we got this. Let me try to do some some kind of line going down to this uh, thruster here. Maybe just more of that. Put a couple of those. Pretty drab in here, too. What could go there? Yeah, why not? So 
realize I'm missing a stripe on the side too. Not sure if I'm even going to keep that. It's all right, I guess. All right, well, to move on, I think this ship is now should work again. Does seem a little drifty. So what are we looking at stat-wise? Three, one, uh, 17s I'm getting on these sides. Eights on the sides. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> eh, 29 minute build time. I don't expect the build time to go up anymore. I don't think there's much more to add. Um, one generator. So this thing has three fuel tanks now. Could probably remove the one inside. Save a little bit of cost. Is there one inside? Well, not visible. Um, so we got a fuel tank, some O2. That's just solid blocks there. Generator, okay, that must be the other fuel tank. Hmm. Always decisions. Tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna not think about that now and just keep on plugging away at this. Oh, we got cargo containers right in the middle of the floor. Uh, that's gonna screw up my floor theme. It's all right. Different floor theme then. Pull this cockpit out too. Okay. Not much wiggle room to do much in this interior, like fancy walls or curved ceilings or anything like that. Although I can do a little smoothing go. This thing needed Wi-Fi. Well, we, we can find another spot for Wi-Fi. Kind of carving a little bit here to see if I can make this appear a little roomier inside. And it looks that way. Actually, there's quite a bit of room over here. 
Well, let me guess. I'm probably blowing away cargo containers. Yes, yes, I was blowing away cargo containers. Darn it. All right. Yeah, these are cargo extensions. Hmm. down there. These are cargo extensions, I would assume, too. Yep. Trying to get some detail in here somehow. There's just not much space to work with, but might be a couple things to try. RCS is just sitting there. I don't like where it is. Nah. You know what? How about we take that RCS out and we'll put another one up there somewhere. Yes, and you know what? And we we gotta get the Wi-Fi in. Okay, four thousand. That's that's what I wanted to hit anyway. So it's back, and this is just under that. Okay. See, by um, cutting in like I did there, what's kind of neat, every time you do that, it's like now I have another surface area I can texture that wasn't there before. So, I mean, who knows what you can do with all this here. Um, oh, some of it's cargo and some of it's... In fact, all those are cargo except that one first one. Darn it. So, cargo textures, what could be done here? That, I don't mind that texture. Um, it's not really what I'm looking for here, though. In fact, there really isn't anything. That's too lighty. Uh, more of these things. Uh. <laughs> I keep on going back to this texture because it fits, honestly, and it lines up to the edges. That's the big reason. That works. Okay, so cockpit was sitting right there. Got to do something with this front area to make it a little prettier. Actually, no, we want that to line up there. Could try to reverse curve. Or do something like that. Okay, so that kind of bubbles that out nicely.
white dashboard or dark dashboard? How would a dark look like? Kind of like the dark. We got a lot of crap on this wall here. There, you know what? I'm gonna land. Oh no, I'm not gonna land it. One sec. See what I don't like is that, but yeah, with the glass there, there's nothing you can do about that. Oh, that's too much. Never mind. are both backwards. It's all right though. I just hate that right there. 
but I'm not sure what to do about it yet. Actually, chuck the Wi-Fi, put it on this side maybe. And I could put a, at least a leading block up here of something. Okay, well that's about the interior. I'm not real thrilled on the layout though. I'm trying to avoid move removing the core again. Squashed right next to the O2. You know, it's a tiny ship. It's cheap. It's just not, you're not going to get the, the craziness you're getting on the bigger ships. All right, so painting. Uh, let's see. How about. Oh, man, I put that seat in too soon. Oh, that did work. Get the other side painted too. Uh, yes, I think. No. Come on. Ah, painted. Woo! -hoo. All right. Actually, I don't even mind that gray down there. How about... Off tone, a little different shade of white up here. And that could be a little fancier here too. Uh, tired of using that texture. Colors of the ceiling be probably uh, probably white again. Or 
Or how about two-toned? Starting to look a little better. <laughs> and I put the cockpit too far back. There. Oh, I can't put it forward. Thought I thought I could. It's the glass. Hmm. Damn it. Oh well. Wow, that's really far back though. See how that piece of glass is that's stopping the cockpit from being there. Hmm. crazy need another RCS anywhere and then maybe here let's get into some uh, you know it's right in front of the cockpit I'll just use regular steel it's not like it's strong or anything but well uh maybe try to cover that up On a wasted area right here. I got these cargo boxes up there, but they could easily fit up front. striping um, really sucks I like to put some lights and stuff on the floor but I know that most all this is the cargo containers and I can't really do it yeah I can decal them though Also a cargo container. Yes, it is. Okay. Well, anything else that could be uh, trimmed up or something in here? Actually, you know, 
Maybe I should paint this bottom area. I'm gonna make another color. A darker shade yet here. Almost there. Couple other little things here. Get a couple LCDs in. And that gives me an excuse to pop in that texture, which I like with these small LCDs a lot. Okay. Um should this thing have a switch for lights or anything? There are, yeah, you know, I should. I should just spend the time and do that. So let's put something there. And oh, looks like I got some of these already. Okay. Tempted to color that floor different there. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna steal some LCDs from something else. Let's see here, what would have them? Ah, you know, I could go with the new style ones here. You know, these are bigger displays, but so I, need, I want one for exterior lights. How about this one here? Here's a weird thing. These things don't copyright, so I add a couple extra characters at the end because I don't want to look up these these character codes on the internet again. I do have a link for that around. Um, you notice how those characters I put in there disappeared? Yeah, well, it, this would have disappeared if I didn't do that. And these are what, designed for seven, I think. Yeah, seven. Okay, so exterior lights. So let's rig this switch up a minute. Exterior lights. Okay, and I'll just go find my spotlights. Okay. 
So, woohoo! Hey, we got light. Okay, and this is going to be a storage container. So, let's steal one from. There we go. That'll work. This one I'm not as worried about because I can at least copy and paste that character. Oh, and it actually worked. Awesome. And this had 4,000. I just round it off. It's, you know, 41 something or whatever, for whatever, but uh, just to keep it clean. Oh, yeah, armor locker in 02. Test a couple other things here a minute. Sort all this out here. Uh, do I have? Okay, I have oxygen on me. And oops. All right, and we got O2 on the interior. Awesome. Last test, last test. Oh, you know what? I gotta rig the back door yet. I almost forgot about that. This one might be a little easier. I've got a little bit of leeway here with sensors. I hate finding places to put these motion sensors. It can suck just royally bad sometimes. Um, and you don't want to put them like on the on the middle bottom of this door area either because you get kind of stuck on it. If you ever have to do that, put it on the side. Um, but if you put it right down the middle, it's kind of like it blocks your walkway and you kind of slip around it. Just something. Let me get a light. Let's keep this a regular style light. Darn it. There we go. Let's give it a bigger range. And that. No, no, never mind. Smaller range in red or uh, yellow. Orange. One of them colors. Jeez. Okay, so we'll call this uh, how about door ramp? Okay, and we'll do an interactive setup on it. The only problem with having the sensor there is you can't go backwards. I can't go to the left from this angle. It sucks. I don't want to go up. Okay, so that way. I want to come off this way a ways. I could really try to find a better place for a sensor. Ultimately, I would like it on the ceiling facing down at this block row. Yeah, but good luck with that. Okay, and I also keep it one square on the inside, so when you walk near the door, it will open. 
this one's pretty tight, so you got to be like right behind it before it's going to open up. I guess that works, so it's not a real big deal. So we'll we'll keep that. Now, sign in all these things here. So, so we'll set you to open on door ramp. We'll set the light to be on door ramp, and we'll set the ramp to be on door ramp, but this has to be inverted. So now when you walk up to it, everything opens up for you. And then once you get inside, it closes until you get here. So now other testing. This is something else I do with every ship is I like to uh, get out of God mode, take a walk around the ship, take a look at your uh, radiation and heat, see if you have any any problems anywhere at all. And it doesn't, and that's good. And in the final test, of course, hop in the cockpit, and get out of the cockpit, make sure you don't get stuck. That can happen. All right, so I dare say I'm short of maybe a one final inspection on this, maybe a couple more textures. This thing is done. It's pretty slow though. I tell you what I don't like is the strafing right now. It's almost like I would really like to get a second second uh, side thruster in um, because that's bugging me it's got like eight I think it is on um, yeah eight on your uh, on that that's it doesn't feel good everything else is 16 I think this ought to ought to match that so one little mod here see what can be done I think this will be a really easy, easy mod. Granted, this thing's pretty vulnerable. You don't want to be taking on anything too heavy with it. And, and it's got a pair of, like, Gatling guns, so it's not like you're going to anyway. This will up the cost a little bit, but I think I got enough power, hopefully, to deal with the extra thruster. These weren't colored either. All right. Liking the, that light right there. Oh, and you know, a little bit of color on the inside too might help. Oh, I got another sign I didn't do. Ha. All right.
was a thousand. It's a little light though. Don't like that. Maybe I'll find a way to squeeze some more stuff in at some point here. And let's see, color up a couple things inside. Still one more color. Just had to have a red fridge. Yeah. And the core. So I'm going to probably go through and, um, well, this thing's about done. I mean, it really is. I'm, I'm thinking what I'm going to do, and I'll do this on my own time, is maybe rearrange this area a little bit better over here. I don't, it's kind of haphazard, chaotic. Um, maybe get this core back over here uh, along with the air and clean this section up a little bit. I don't really like the exposed RCS there either. Um, but it's, I mean, almost completely finished at this point in time. So I will, uh, I will get this out to the workshop at some point. Now I've got a, a kind of a backlog on things to release at this point in time, including the ship below it and the MX-14, which I've been uh, working on. Um, I think currently on my, uh, I, I plan on getting this ship out first. I kind of made the choice on that. It's for Excalibur's challenge. I'd like to get out on the workshop so I could promote the challenge a little bit more. Um, so I made this a priority getting this particular ship done. And it's sitting at that point now. I think I, I got everything tweaked and retweaked and tweaked some more on it. So, um, so it's ready and I'll probably release it tomorrow. Um, this ship might be a week or so before I, I get it out to the workshop. Um, I'm trying not to flood the workshop and, and, and it kind of sucks right now because I've been building a lot and I got a lot of stuff to release. Um, so this ship and that, that still that miner, that sensory gun, or I'm sorry, uh, like a base defense gun. Um, next tutorial I'm, I'm thinking about doing is something that, that uh, came up a few times to build a beefy solar defense tower. And that'll probably be the next uh, project for uh, doing these videos on. Um, I also have that other uh, ship that is, I haven't touched it in a little bit again. What did we call you? This one here. Um, this one I'm really excited about. Something I might wanna use in game myself. Um, so yeah, this is another big project. This one's got a lot of time left in it to it. It's got no insides, only partially textured and not finalized on the front section. But the, uh, the overall shape's pretty much there. And that, that's something I did want to cover on tutorials more. This, this, this uh, particular ship was so tiny that you didn't get a lot of chances to do much in shaping. I kind of wanted to show you how I build these larger structures and how I kind of uh, actually build them like I'm building with wireframes. If I was doing like a 3D CAD model or something like that, um, I kind of do like these lines and I run them this direction and that direction and out here and, and kind of make this outline sort of of the, the general shape I'm looking for um, and modify the crap out of it and then start filling in all the areas in between. That's kind of a, a method I normally do. It doesn't work so well with really tiny things though, like, like this. But anyway, you all have a good day and uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot.